Hello everybody, welcome to Level Pixel Level, and this is Driver's Masterclass. I was asked recently um, by Guy Fox, can you do a tutorial on how to achieve a small gear revolving around a bigger gear? For example, a gear with five teeth revolving around a gear with 50 teeth. Uh, so I have that here. I built this gear with 50 teeth and this gear with five teeth here. I built these using the extra objects add-on module. So if you go to edit preferences, you can go to add-ons and this should ship with your blender. If you just type in extra here, you'll get the extra objects add-on. To calculate the math for the radius on these gears, I went to geargenerator.com and that allows me to input uh, custom radiuses, teeth amount, and get the math for other gears that would be in place in that system. It's a really great site if you ever just need to calculate gears that'll work out uh, together mathematically. So first thing I'm going to do is add an armature. I'm going to go to edit mode and I'm going to select the tail of this bone. Not the head of the whole bone, just the tail here. I'll do shift S, selection of cursor, and I'm just going to click on this Y axis and pull it this way. So I want this to be right at the center of the second gear here. So I'll select on it and I'll do Shift S, cursor to select it. I'll go back to here, grab the tail of the bone, do Shift S, selection to cursor. That's where my center point is gonna pivot from. And I'm just gonna hit E, and that extrudes another bone. And if I hit Y, it constrains the Y axis. So I just need another control right there. Now I'll flip to pose mode, and I'll select everything. And I'm just gonna change the rotation mode. You can do it one at a time, or you can hit Control R, and you'll be able to change the rotation mode of all selected bones. So I'm going to do X, Y, Z, Euler. So now if I rotate this bone on the Z axis, I have this. And what I'm going to do is just parent the gear to it. So I'm actually going to parent it to the second controller here. So in object mode, I have the gear selected. I'm just going to hold Shift and click on the rig, and I'm going to flip to pose mode. And click on the second controller here and do control P to bone. Now when I rotate this inner uh, control here, it'll rotate it around the gear. Now I know that this gear here needs to turn 10 times for every time that this gear moves one time, which technically it's not moving this time, but we can use a driver for this. So with this middle control selected still, right click on the Z and click copy data path. Click on the second controller out here and just right click on the Z axis and do add driver. We're just gonna make it var for now in the expression. And we're gonna make it a single property. It is the armature that we have here. And since I copied that data path earlier, I can just do control V or command V on a Mac. And here's the thing about rotation is it'll just give you the Euler rotation. You actually have to do dot Z here. You cannot just do rotation. It needs that final value. And it won't actually copy that, which is a little weird about Blender. It won't copy that Z value. You have to put that in manually. So now if I rotate this bone here, I get this, which is getting there, but it's still a little bit off. What I need to do is multiply this variable. So I'm going to go to edit driver, and I'm going to multiply the variable by 10. Now when I rotate this, I get this. And here I'll turn off the rig so you can actually see what's going on. And when I drive that value, that'll rotate right around that gear. So the math for a lot of this is similar to another video I've done where I've gone over how to calculate uh, gears of different sizes and different teeth and how to actually calculate how they're gonna rotate around each other. And again, building this all in gear generator is extremely helpful for figuring out where and how to build these gears and how to actually calculate the rotation. I can do this with another value as well. Let's say I had a gear with 10 teeth. So first thing I'll have to do is just fix that pivot. So if I just move this forward, uh, I just wanna find that center there. So I'll click on it, I'll do Shift S, cursor to selected, and I'll just move the uh, this control here there as well. Then again, I'll just parent it up really quick. So I'll select the gear, select on the rig, Go to pose mode, select on this one here and do control P, bone. So since this gear has 10 teeth and this gear has 50 teeth 
Every time this gear does one rotation, this one will do five. So I'll edit the driver, so instead of 10, it's just gonna be five. Now when I rotate this, I get this. So I'll turn off the rig again, and you can see that gear moving along and just sliding along that bigger gear there. So you can keep playing with this. You can add more gears. You can add more functionalities to this. Um, it's something that I did go over extensively in other videos, so check that one as well. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.